Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. I know it's been a few weeks, but uh, obviously work and family just get in the way of things. Plus, nothing much really has happened in the tank. What I do want to talk about today though, is a few changes that I'm hopefully going to do in the next week or two. Um, mainly along the floor, and one definite is I need to find a piece of rock for for this area here. Um, basically, a few few issues and around the uh, euphilia uh, side here. And as you can see, if you look at this bubble coral now, the sorry, the anemone, sorry. Um, this green euphilia is not looking its best, and one of the heads has been stung to death. So we need to we need to address that. But first things first, guys, everything is going really really good on the tank. It's all thriving. The algae and the issues that I was having on the pumps has completely been addressed. And like I said, there isn't any no bubbles or anything like that. Just a little bit of bit of algae going on now. Uh, sorry, a bit of. Uh, Bubbles just going on, a normal basic algae that's uh, that usually just comes on the top of it as well. What I have done is this frag rack which was over on the back. I've took one frag rack out. I've dipped that in um, some uh, citric acid, and I'm going to let this uh, this one will probably be the only one that'll be in my tank. Um, a couple of things got snapped off. This uh, piece of my guitar, and then this little piece over here, which is part of. That that one there, if you look, it's been stinging. <clears throat> They've been stinging um, each other. This yellow one here, which has got a bit of dead spot there, and obviously, so I've snapped that part, which is about there. Snap that off, um, and hopefully gives it a bit of respite. What I might need to do is I might need to actually trim that part off where where it's not looking as good. To be fair, just here, um, yeah. I will have to trim that I think um, but then again it might even grow back but this this piece took a nice big chunk of that um, and as you can see the rest of these SPS are all looking really good this PC rainbow is thriving as well all looking really really good guys basically it's just uh, an issue that we've had just with basically too much growth especially in this area just all overlapping each other and that's going to bring us right onto the point that I'm going to make on that rock, uh, the new rock that I'm hoping to get. I just haven't found a decent piece that I want to get. But my plan, guys, is basically is this, which it always has been. I was speaking like uh, to my missus, and I was basically saying like, you know, I look at other people's tanks, and they all look full, and and I'm not saying that mine doesn't look full or anything like that. But what what basically what I'm it just it seems great here and then it just seems like there's nothing over this section you see uh, even though we've got the euphilia and the bubble there i'm talking about along the top and i know i've kept on saying about it basically it's just try to find the right piece of rock but i basically want to have been trying to get rid of this or try to get this an enemy out of my tank as you all know try to build a rockscape over here maybe with a, a ledge or so and then basically fill that that top section there with SPS. These LP, these euphilias, I was thinking of taking down. I'm thinking of putting these on the ground more uh, or lower down on the on the um, towards the bottom of the tank. Um, as you can see, this bubble coral is just absolutely massive. So he's got to stay there. That or that's got to stay there. Um, but we are having a bit of coral warfare, like I've said all the time. But just look at the size of that bubble coral. It's just absolutely massive, guys. It's, it's. I mean, you've seen the width of the tank. It's nearly three quarters the length of the tank, the width of the, the tank. So it's an absolute ginormous. I've never seen a, a bubble coral as big and that as that in my life. But, uh, but yeah, absolute huge, huge bubble coral. So obviously that's going to stay there. There's no real estate for that to go anywhere. But I was thinking of maybe like taking these out um, or maybe putting them around the corner. Taking these, this out, obviously keeping the scholar, keeping the rainbow chalice. 
thinking of moving these as well, uh, these um, gunnies. They're, they're looking all right, but I've spoke before in the past uh, that they're not looking as good as they did do. This one obviously is brown. Brown bread completely dead, that one, but these two are just slightly still alive, but I don't know for how much longer. Uh, these mushrooms and the Superman mushrooms, I believe they are, and the Monte, they're doing well. All growing, growing really good. But basically what I'm thinking, guys, is this section, this clam, I'm definitely trying to get rid of. I need to get rid, rid of this, to be fair. These uh, seductions, I think they are. These, uh, yeah, these are seduction zoas. They just took over in this corner. And basically, what I want to do, guys, is I want to bring this cyan arena here, and I want to move that to the front. I want to put that there. That is, I mean, it's such an absolutely stunning coral. That it's such a shame for it to be at the back. Um, just basically, just you know, I mean, it's absolutely massive to be fair. And I basically want to move that to the front of the tank. So I want to move that into this piece here, but I need to move this because this is a killer. This low ball will definitely kill it, so I need to make room by getting rid of this, moving the uh, chal this, this chalice, moving these around and getting rid of that rock. So basically I'll have all that estate there just for the Cyan Arena to go into, which I think will look, I mean, it'll look absolutely fantastic once, once that's done. But obviously, first things first is I need to get rid of the uh, the um, the clam, and I need to get rid of a few of these other things. Obviously, these I'm gonna I think I've got somebody who, who's interested in them. Um, I've got to trim the holy grail. That is a must. I need to trim this because, uh, like I said, these are stinging each other, um, and I don't want one of them to perish as I like them both. So, got to uh, got to get onto that, but. Like I've said before, I haven't got a saw or anything. Um, I do know somebody who has got one, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to borrow that for half, half an hour or so, and then I can take it out, and then I can trim this back. Um, like I said, I think I've got about 10 heads on this Holy Grail. Um, so hopefully, get rid, uh, sorry, get uh, get get it cut, and if somebody uh, wants it, then obviously they can uh, come up, come and pick it up. Don't really want to ship it out. Uh, I'm not really into that, to be fair. I mean, to, to be truthful, I wouldn't mind trying. It's just I've never tried and I wouldn't want to risk it. Uh, this tank, which is really settled into the tank, absolute beauty. I've said before and I know that I'll need to shift it on over time, but it seems to have settled in really, really well now. Lovely, lovely colour, absolutely beautiful colour. They have a bit of a spat between the, the, the clownfish and, and itself, but it's not too bad. Um, not as bad as the past fish that I've had before. And like I said, everything else, guys, is doing really, really good in the tank. One thing I do want to mention is um, in the live stream, one of the, the guys mentioned uh, about switching the light off because of the algae that I was getting in it, all the algae issues, and is absolutely spot on. I've forgotten who, who it was, so apologies for that. Um, but absolutely spot on. Um, I've ch I turned the light on the other day to see whether there was any algae and there is absolutely nothing in it. So if you want to save you know, the al any algae issues in the tubing, turn the light off and that is definitely a 10 out of 10, um, a 10 out of 10 tip. Also, another thing I have been having is an issue with and you'll never, and for the love of God, I don't know how, how it's happening, uh, is the auto top off. What I'll do is I'll post some pictures um, uh, up up on here in a minute, basically showing you what I, I heard the noise basically in the tank. I was wondering what it was, and then uh, lo and behold, I went in and the basically the return chamber was near enough dry. How the hell it didn't burn the pump out, I do not know. Um, and obviously, as you know, it's a new pump. Really, don't have a clue what was going on uh, with it. To be fair, um, obviously a major issue, but it's done it a few times. So I am going to be taking it back. It's still under warranty. And with it being a tons, I mean, I paid 179 quid for it. So a mega, really, really expensive piece of kit, which I never thought, um, never thought I'd do that. But I really don't have a clue what's going on with it. Um, the 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 arrow, the arrow unit, uh, 
top off is completely full, so there's no issues why why that should be uh, not be not be running on. Uh, but like I said, obviously you'll have seen the pictures. What I mean, major issue, and uh, I'm going to address that for sure. But like I said, guys, just a quick a quick look at the uh, at the tank today. A couple of issues obviously going on, but hopefully in next video you'll see this will have all changed. Everything hopefully would have uh, would have been changed, and maybe fingers crossed, I might have a new new rock uh, just over there. This chalice I will be snapping off. Um, I know somebody, some of you guys want a piece of this. This Hollywood stunner. Um, I'm just waiting on some containers. Uh, from a friend of mine who said he can get some larger with piece it, pe uh, larger containers, so obviously he can shove a larger piece in there for you guys. Uh, but hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will uh, will work out fine. But other than that, guys, the tank's doing really, really good. Can't really fault it. Um, alkalinity, calcium, magnesium are all in check. Um, hoping to do another um, ICP test maybe in the next month or so. Um, see how the uh, the water parameters are going on, but other than that, I think to be fair, the tank's not looking looking too bad. Um, I'm quite happy with it, um, and hopefully, like I said, next next video, all this would be uh, would be gone. But you never know in this hobby, certain things change, and uh, we always change our mind. So hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the thumbs up and the like. If you're not already subscribed, I really appreciate it. I'm climbing up to that magical thousand, which I want. Um, and if you don't join us already on the live streams, then head over to one of our channels. It'll be on Instagram, which channel it'll be on. It'll be either on mine or Ross or um, Fish Palace. Check us out. Come over and join us. Have a bit of fun, a uh, bit of a laugh on a Friday night. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you there. If not, guys, I'll see you on the next video that I upload. So take care and uh, happy reefing. I'll see you soon.